out. <laughs> okay, now you've got a couple small beagles here, right? Uh, yes, we do. How, how old are they? They're uh, approximately seven months. Seven months old, and they're just right to, to start in on their daily, everyday training. Okay. The repetitious part of uh, training a beagle every day, exposing it to the field, exposing it to the various games. The most important at, at this age, between seven months and a year and a half. Well, what's, what's, what's the older dog here for? Uh, we, use, we like to use an older dog first thing in the morning to kind of stir up the game and get the game uh, moving around so that the younger dogs will have a chance uh, to expose to the scent of the game. Uh, we also use the, young, the older dog to hopefully that the younger dogs will join in with the older dogs and learn from the a little older, little mature dog. Uh-huh, a little, little of the old experience injected into, into these two small pups, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You always like to use a little more experienced dogs to teach the young dogs, bring the young dogs around by being taught by an older dog. Now, George, why is it that both you and Ruth smile uncontrollably when somebody mentions the word beagle. Well, we, we love the little hounds. We were raised with them, and we love them, and certainly we're uh, most pleased that uh, Bob Gardner and Michigan Out of Doors is here to, uh, to observe the little hounds. Uh, we, we feel that the beagle, of course, is one of the most popular uh, dogs to use for hunting, and we get a great thrill out of hunting over the little beagles. Well, essentially, this is, this is your retirement. This is what your, your goal in life is, is to raise and, and train beagles. That's correct. Certainly a future retirement, still uh, uh, employed to some degree, but uh, certainly the training of young hunting beagles is, is most enjoyable. And it turns you on. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We really enjoy it. What are we going to do out here in the pen today? Uh, we're going to release these two young dogs. This is our daily uh, daily routine. Every day we take out two or three young dogs in the morning, two or three other dogs later on in the afternoon. We expose them to the various scents. We expose them to the game that's out here in the field and uh, to get them tracking and pursuing rabbit to yep. make future uh, rabbit hunters. You have a five-acre enclosure here. The rabbits can't get out of it. That's correct. Uh, we have five acres fenced in, these, but these are natural rabbits. These are not uh, uh, rabbits that have been put in here. These rabbits have been born in here. It's just a matter of keeping the environment uh, such that rabbits uh, can produce, and rabbits do produce quite well if they have cover and food and, and so forth, just natural cottontails. Habitat, that's, that's the key to having one of these pens is habitat. Habitat is very, most important, most important to keeping a good uh, population of wild game is good habitat. Now, some people might say uh, in a five-acre pen, heck, the poor rabbit doesn't get a chance to get away, but uh, that uh, they don't get caught in this pen, do they? No, absolutely not. The rabbits become most most tricky. They, they've got certain logs that they climb to, to get away from the dogs and they can twist and turn and uh, it, it doesn't take too much uh, on their part to fool the dogs, especially when the dog is using scent. Now, of course, this time of year with our foliage down, uh, a dog's, these dogs may occasionally get a sight chase and we discourage that and uh, we hope for them to just to run track. We do most of our intensive training throughout the summer months when the foliage is still real high and throughout the fall. Now, somebody could, could actually hire you then to to take their beagle and to put it in this pen and, and actively train it to get it to get it started as they call it barking on rabbit scent. That's correct. To get it started, to get it following, get it tracking. We do that uh, for many rabbit hunters uh, for their beagles, either uh, unregistered beagles or registered beagles, but primarily for the rabbit hunter. Most all our training is done for the rabbit hunter. Occasionally we we will have the more serious beagler who attends field trials and we'll, they'll have us work, work their dogs for competition, but 70-80% uh, of our uh, uh, friends are just rabbit hunters, and uh, we do. We do that, just what you state there. We take the young dog in here, get the young dog exposed to all the various scents daily, everyday routine. Unfortunately, many people who own, uh, who enjoy hunting and enjoy the dogs, live in a, in a subdivision or a city uh, situation where they cannot work their dog every day. So, uh, you know, they're willing to uh, bring their dog out to us, and we do, do just that. Uh, and you, two or three weeks of training could really make a difference on a dog. And you uh, and you not only train it and make a, a little bit of dough, there's not a lot of no. dough in this training. <laughs> no, but I think, I, think you, I think you and Ruth just do it for the fun. 
Yes, there is a good, there is a great amount of enjoyment in, in raising uh, good hunting beagles and uh, training the beagles. There's a great amount of joy watching them mature, watching them be able to follow scent and track game. It's, uh, it's a great thrill to see a young beagle all of a sudden smell game and start tracking it and then start baying on the line. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it is a great thrill. And then to take that dog out and rabbit hunt with it Absolutely. in the snow, uh, good conditions, uh, nothing yes. better. Nothing better. Nothing better than rabbit hunting. Uh, nothing better than hearing the music of the hounds, hearing the music of the little hounds uh, pursuing rabbit or hare uh, in their merry chase. Sounds great. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Okay, action. There we go. right there. He doubled back over the dogs. Ha <laughs> here. We really want rabbits to go up here on the hill. Where the pine trees are. On the path and the setting now on the path. Setting, boy, it's going to be hard to get the movement there. You, I don't know how well, much of a zoom you can get. It, so. It'll be moving again and it'll probably move towards those pines. Yeah. She's doing a pretty fair job. Especially since the whole weather's left. Yeah, 